I was going 55 miles an hour and I felt my back tire start to wobble. Caitlin Reichman was riding her motorcycle on her way to work at the Hard Rock Casino last Saturday when her commute took a near fatal turn. I pulled in my clutch to try to brake because I thought I had a flat tire or that somebody had hit my back tire. And I zoomed up to like 65, 70 miles an hour. And at this point I was like fishtailing. And it was terrifying, obviously. And then I just remember seeing a flash of darkness over my face. We're driving and my wife goes, Nick! And I look over and I pretty much just see the semi and then a motorcycle right in front of him. Nick Linder was driving on I-75 with his wife and saw it all unfold. She goes down and the semi runs right over her. She goes under the tires and is probably dragged for probably 20 to 30 yards and then shoots out in front of my vehicle. This traffic camera from ODOT captured the moment as it happened. Watch as the semi comes into frame. You can see the front of the truck seemingly just inches from the back of Caitlin's bike before it's sucked underneath. Moments later, traffic comes to a halt. The husband was able to slam on his brakes and protect me from other cars hitting me. I jump out of my car real quick and uh, I go up to her and pretty much just sit there with her and hold her hand and just tell her the cops are on the way. While Caitlin says Nick's actions likely saved her life, he says it was just the right thing to do. I hope somebody would do the same for me, like if something like that had happened. And I just got out and I was like, somebody's got to sit here with her. So I, w I wanted to be there with her because I didn't want her to be there alone. As for the driver of that semi. Yeah, he just hit her and he just kept driving. I, I figured he would stop down the road and he did not. I just can't believe somebody would do that hit somebody like that, especially on a motorcycle, you know. Adam Clements, Local 12 News. Again, this happened last Saturday, February 10th, around 1 in the afternoon in the southbound lanes of I-75 near Hopple Street. Police still haven't caught the driver of that semi, semi and they're still investigating the crash. If you were in that area around that time and have information that might help police, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 513 352 3040. As for Caitlin, right now she is recovering in the hospital. From breaking news to feel good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and click the links for more content like this.